What's good guys, it's Joseph and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make some smooth cinematic transitions inside of After Effects. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. It's going to be a quick video for you guys today. Um, I'm going to make a new composition to start out with and then go ahead and copy my settings. 1280 by 720 and then 59.94 frames per second. Press OK and then make sure you drag your clip and your song into After Effects. And now once you've done that, Let's go ahead and take a look at the cinematic. As you can see, it is really slow. I recorded it inside of my console on BO3 in theater mode at 0.6 speed, I think. So it's really slow because um, it's always better to work with slower cinematics, in my opinion. So press L twice on your keyboard and then find somewhere where you want to sync your clip to, which I'm probably going to pick right here. Looks pretty good. Yep, so now that we've got that, I'm gonna go ahead and make a marker so we can go ahead and quickly snap to these locations to make our editing experiences a little bit better. So now we have our clip, press the left square bracket key to snap it to our little cursor thingy and then go snap your cursor to the next marker and then go ahead and press alt right square bracket and then it go ahead it clips off the rest of the clip and if you don't know where your square bracket keys are, they're next to the P key on your keyboard. So now we have that done. This is the length of the clip we're going to use. We obviously haven't synced it yet. We're going to go ahead and do that right now. Make sure the clip is selected. Press Control Alt T to go ahead and enable time remapping. And then go ahead and go to the next marker and then drag this number right here until you want your cinematic to end, which I did right here in the preview. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. So now I have our clip and it is now synced linearly so it just goes and it starts and stops we haven't edited it at all highlight the keyframes and then easy ease them by pressing F9 on your keyboard and now click this button right here to go into the graph editor and so now we have it in our graph editor and then I've taught you how to use the timer map before but with this it's going to be a little bit different because before I showed you how to make a nice curve just like this and then you're fine <clears throat> but this is going to be a little bit different because we're going to make it go. If you understand time remap and how it syncs, just go ahead and drag it all the way up. And then you can see how it looks like that. And just drag this down a tiny bit. And so now you can see this goes up and it gradually gets slower. And then it just kind of gets a little bit fast and just easily goes into the next clip or whatever you have, another cinematic, whatever it is. It looks really clean like this, but you want to keep playing around with it because you'll never really get it right on the first try because it depends on the song and then how long the clip is and everything like that. So let's go ahead and preview it a whole bunch of times until you find something that's perfect for you. So let's go ahead and say this is perfect for me. I'm going to go ahead and get out of the graph editor and then go ahead and look at my clip again and go ahead and kind of look at see what it looks like. See it gets fast, now it's slow and then it gradually just goes into the next clip and it's really smooth. And if that's perfect for you, that's probably all you want to do unless you want to get into a little bit more things to make it look even better. So now you can see we're going to play with the camera a little bit, the dolly camera, but not act, not the actual dolly camera. We're just going to make it look like we're making, we're playing with the dolly camera. So press shift and R and this brings up rotation. And then if you can see, I'm going to explain this really quick. It doesn't really matter which way you rotate it, it depends on the cinematic and the angles you get. I usually like to make it rotate like this if it's an angle like this, so it's kind of like moving like that. But if you go ahead and make it like this, this also looks good as well. But I'm going to go ahead and do it just like I did in the preview. So make a keyframe at the beginning and then I'm going to go ahead and press negative 15. And if you want to do the opposite of what I'm doing, put positive 15. It's that simple. And so then go to the last keyframe and then make it positive 10 or neg or um, positive 15. I'm going to go ahead and use positive 10 because I don't want it. I just want this to be like a subtle effect and um, to make it look really nice and clean. So now we have it. You can already see it's looking a little bit nicer. And then just go ahead and easy ease these keyframes. Just like we did for the timer map one. Then go into your graph editor and then make 
mimic the same shape that we just did in our timer map graph editor thingy. And so let's just say I got it perfect on the first try so I don't have to spend too much time so I can spend more time explaining what we're doing for the rest of the video. So now you can see it's looking really nice. But now we have these little black spots on our screen. We're going to go ahead and fix that with some scale. So make sure you're on the first keyframe. And then press Shift S to bring up scale and then put scale up to about 130. And so now black bars will fix this. We'll show you how to do that later. So now go into the middle, make sure you click stopwatch, of course. Now go into the middle, bring it down to about 105 in that ballpark, and then go to the end and then put it back up 115, 120. Don't make it all the way back up to 135 because I'm just not going to look that good. So make sure you easy ease those keyframes again and then go ahead and right click them. Oh, I don't know what I did right there. Right click them and then easy ease them. And now go into your graph editor. And now we have a whole different set of keyframes to play with. I usually just drag these down. Sometimes I drag them down all the way, depends on everything. Basically just play with it and find something you like. Drag these out. And so now let's just say I love how that looks. Let's say I've previewed it a couple times and I really like how it looks. So now it looks really good. And so now we're gonna fix these, the rest of the black patches by making a new solid, a black solid, make sure it's black. We can name it black bars if you want. And so now I have my black bars preset saved in my effects and presets. I just went in and typed in black and it has my black bars and you just drag it on and it looks nice. But if you guys don't know how to make that, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this layer. I mean, delete that effect and then you make sure the layer is selected, go to effect, generate, and then grid and all of you have it don't worry about it so now we have these little white boxes you can make them black so now we have black boxes on our screen make this number actually change this center point to width and height sliders make this number zero and then drag this just you know all the way back just into negative space doesn't really matter how far you do just keep dragging it and then make this number 2000 because our dimensions are 1280 by 720. So 2000 is a good number to use for that. And then just make this 720. And so now all we have to do is drag this number up. And so now we have our black bars. And I usually put about 150 for cinematics on console. And so now it looks nice. And so the only thing else you would have to add is a nice color correction and maybe some motion blur but I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that I'm not gonna explain that to you and so if you want to do this for all your cinematics you could just copy all these keyframes and then paste them onto your next clip or you can do it manually which is what I do so I can control everything in my edit and so I know if something goes wrong I know why it went wrong but you know some people some people just like to rush them and just copy the keyframes I'm not gonna stop you from doing that it looks nice as well but that's basically it for the video. If this helps you at all, please drop a like and a comment and also tell me if you want to see anything else, any other tutorials, but um, or if you want to know how to save your black bars. Forgot to say that. Make sure your grid, this effect is highlighted and then go to your effects and presets tab. My tabs are kind of weird. I have them customized, but in your effects and presets tab, there should be a little folder down here if you didn't know. And once you have that highlighted, just click the folder and then save it wherever you want then you can be able to type it in here and then use it at a later date. But that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I'm out. Peace.